Dr. Arju Makajani comes to us as the president of the Institute for Energy and Environmental Research, and he wrote the landmark book, Carbon Free, Nuclear Free, in 2007, and continues to serve our community for a future we can believe in. Arjun. Thank you, Mary. Uh, eight, so I'm an egghead. Uh, eight years ago, when my friend and mentor, David Freeman, made a speech saying, we should get rid of oil, and we should get rid of coal, and we should get rid of nuclear, and we should go to solar. I said, Dave, you know, you're going to send every industry we have left to China. This is unaffordable. And he said, stop being an unprintable naysayer. And you haven't done the research. So I said, that's true. It was a kind of a knee-jerk reaction. And Helen Caldicott was there, and she said, Arjun, if you do this study, I'll raise the money. It was an offer I could not refuse. And I surprised myself by concluding, it's been technically feasible for a long time if you bring enough batteries to the table, but I concluded that it was economically feasible, that we would not be spending ourselves out of house and home by going to a carbon-free and nuclear-free future that we had enough wind energy resources just in the central belt of the country, more than all the oil production of all the OPEC countries put together, and that just in, and we have even more solar power. All right, I'll have to kind of, to that. Okay. I think when I first published carbon free, nuclear free. It was, there was a lot of skepticism about it. I was very open to debating the nuclear folks, said, you know, base load, et cetera, et cetera. And we had a debate at the Chesapeake Bay Foundation about six years ago. And the man from Dominion Power was there. And one of the scientists from the Chesapeake Bay lab said, uh, well, you heard Dr. Magijani's presentation. Do you have a problem with what he said? He's saying it's possible to do this economically. And he said, no, I don't have a problem with what he said, but I still want to build a nuclear power plant. Now, I think that's a little irrational. I don't think we should be consigning our energy future to irrational. Five, six years ago, there was a lot of skepticism about whether it's possible. Even people like James Lovelock said, there's not enough solar energy, there's not enough wind energy, what are you going to do when the sun doesn't shine and so on. I think today those arguments are settled. How do I know they are settled? Two years ago, Two years ago, utilities were happy, they were fat, and they were comfortable. In January 2013, the Edison Electric Institute publishes a paper saying, solar may be less than 1% today, but watch out, the world is changing, and Wall Street may soon no longer want to fund the way you are doing business. Today, you know, during the civil rights movement, there was a moment when the recalcitrant folks who still wanted segregation stood in the door and said, segregation now, segregation forever. And segregation was gone within a couple of years. I think today what we are seeing with the resistance of the utilities to solar energy, to changing the bills, to changing net metering, reminds me of segregation now, segregation forever, and I think they're going to be consigned to the same place, but they're not going to go quietly. They will need resistance, and they will need a positive plan. We have positive plans, it's not going to be 
without obstacles. Yesterday, somebody asked me, people say, well, Germany is having problems. Germany is embarked on this adventure. <clears throat> and I said, what happened to the American can-do spirit? Do you think they went from here to Oregon on the Oregon Trail without risk? They did not. What happened to that spirit that said, okay, we're going to get there? It's not without obstacles, but the road we are on is the road over a cliff. It's, that's not an obstacle. That's a dead end, literally. So we must confront the obstacles. We can actually learn a lot from the Germans who are being pioneering and figure out how to do it better. We can do it better. As I said yesterday, we are going to publish a plan for every single state in the next two months. Take that to your states and make it happen. Thank you very much.